Hey, what's up YouTube? Texas Triple Tapper here, bringing you guys another gun review. Um, this is one that I am uh, particularly uh, both uh, excited and nostalgic about. This happens to be a Winchester 94 uh, lever action, obviously, uh, 30-30 rifle. Um, before we get started, as always, I just like to just do a quick check and make sure that nothing is in the chamber and that we are good to go. So, and it is on safe. The safety uh, has, um, it's, it's, it's on both sides, but it only pushes in from the one side. So, we'll go ahead and lay that down. Um, I picked this rifle up uh, a couple months ago. Um, just kind of wanted to check it out. I had a lever action, uh, I don't know, 10 years ago. It was a Marlin. Uh, 357 and it really was a piece of junk it had all kinds of feed problems and I ended up sending it back to Marlin they did give me a full refund so um, I decided to to give it another try um, I'm not much of a hunter but um, you know I do travel on occasion and so I wanted something that you know would be powerful enough to take down something that you know was bigger than me uh, in case I in case I came across it so I decided on I decided on this, and I'm I'm, I'm glad I did. I, I gotta say that um, first thing it, it it kicks like hell. Um, the first first time I took it out and was really plinking away with it, I had you know some some bruising on my on my shoulders, but you know it's definitely not enough to deter me uh, from continuing to shoot the weapon. I really like it. It is it is very accurate. Um, as you can see, it's got the uh, the rear sight and the front sight here. Um, this rifle, what's unique about it is that, see up here, this is what's called a top eject as opposed to over here on the side known as the uh, angle eject. And so when you when you fire, then you cycle it, the, the, the spent casing pops off and then from the magazine tube, which is in here, it, it loads another one and it's kind of angled up and then the receiver kind of comes forward and catches it and loads it in and you bang, bang, bang. So anyway, enough of that, you get the idea. So that that is, that is kind of cool. Um, this holds seven rounds in the magazine tube and you can have one in the chamber. So I have two different kinds of ammunition here. This is the Remington uh, core locked 30 30 150 grain so I was just going to open them up just for comparison sake this is Winchester 30 30 170 grain so a little bit a little bit heavier a little bit heavier bullet so 150 grain on my left hand 170 grain in my right hand so and I can I can feel just a tiny bit of difference also the 170 grain has a slightly more uh, flat flat nose so um, I've heard some people say that you know when you're when you're loading these it's better to have more of a flat nose because of the way they line up you know uh, the round to the primer um, I, I haven't had any issues with either one I'll just show you quickly um, how it loads in, in through here now, I'm not gonna chamber it so it just goes right in there there you go and so now when I pull this back, you see that now, now the round is lifted in place. And if I wanted to continue it and get it into the round, it will, it will chamber. But I'm, I'm not, well, actually I may have to because I got it stuck, but it is on safety. So now, yep, and that's just how it pops out. So, very, very cool. Um, the weapon is, I'm not 100% sure what it weighs, but it is not particularly heavy um, you know it, it, it can be um, loaded around pretty easily um, some some of the lever action rifles make a little swivel deal that you can maybe swap out these rings or maybe they come pre-drilled I'm not sure but they do make slings that um, you don't have to do anything to them they just adapt to uh, the, the the rifle itself which I which I thought was kind of cool um, the one drawback that I, I found about this weapon 
was when you when you fire it and you're I mean I've got I've got big hands so you know it's kind of hard for me to hold it that perfect way the barrel um, is not free floating so you if you happen to grab it up a little high this freaking barrel gets hot because I mean you know these are some pretty pretty good sized rounds lots of gas high velocity um, you know moving moving through there so you gotta you gotta be careful be careful with that um, let's see another neat another neat feature about this rifle just to give you kind of a little bit of a history um, if I'm not mistaken I believe John Browning came up with this design while working at Winchester in 1894 hence the name the 94 I believe these were put into production in 1895 and if you'll notice it almost looks like you know the 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 innards are are, are, are spilling out whenever you open this le uh, this uh, lever here, and the rationale behind that was so that you could still have an adequate size cartridge because this has been chambered in in lots of other uh, calibers. I believe 30-06, 30 30, 300 WMR. I'm not not 100% sure about that one. I might be saying it wrong, but. My point is, is that it's been chambered in, in, in other other rounds or other calibers and whatnot, um, but that would still be, you know, 30, 30 caliber. So, but it, it slides down to accommodate the length of these cartridges so, so that you don't have to increase the receiver length, making these guns more, more compact so that you could, you know, tra travel with them. And, you know, these were, very effective for their for their for their purpose in their in their day. Um, I also because because this weapon does have you know quite a bit of recoil, some kick to it. This butt stock here can definitely be changed out. It's just two Phillips head screws. Um, I'm gonna find something uh, a little more cushy online. Um, also, I'm not. I wouldn't say that this is a particular gripe. Um, I actually kind of enjoy a challenge when it comes to taking down a weapon. These are quite challenging. I mean, there's, you can see here that there's, you know, quite a few screws in here and there's, there's pins and, you know, other things on the other side. There's, a, there's a lot of stuff here. And so you've, you've got to be careful when you're putting this, when you're taking it apart and putting it back together, you really need to be mindful of, you know, where you put your parts and kind of, kind of get an idea of, what goes where and have have some sort of a system in place. Um, the nice thing is is that there are quite a few videos on YouTube that I've seen that do an excellent job of explaining how to how to take these down and and how to clean them. In fact, I'm going to be looking up some myself here pretty soon because probably after the next time I take this bad boy to the range, uh, it's going to need to be taken down and cleaned. So let me just put my ammo up here. Um, Cost on the ammo, um, you know, that's that's going to be somewhat subjective because um, they they run about, let's see, these were, uh, how much, these were 1949. Um, I actually got, uh, what, four boxes of ammo included with it when I bought it. I bought it in Montana. And for those of you that don't know about Montana, Montana doesn't have a sales tax. So that was pretty sweet. Um, when I got back home to the to the Lone Star State, the patron state of shooting stuff, I picked these bad boys up at Walmart. They were about 17 bucks plus plus tax, so a little little bit cheaper. But you know, you only get 20 20 rounds in the in the box, so you're looking at almost a dollar a shot. Um, compare that with my 50 caliber uh, uh, Desert Eagle. That's about two bucks a shot. So. Um, that is something to to take into consideration. You know, I wouldn't, you know, depending upon your finances and whatnot, whether you reload or whatever, you know, I, I don't know that I would want to spend a dollar a round or two dollars a round just plinking all day. When I take my Desert Eagle to the range, I usually, you know, just fire a box of 20. That's about it. Um, then I go home and cry because I just wasted 40 bucks. <laughs> Um, and no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, I actually love shooting that. I've got a video, a couple videos up on my Desert Eagle at the range. Um, check it out. Um, 
other than that, I mean, this weapon, it is, it is very accurate. It is extremely accurate. Um, I haven't done any modifications to it. Um, a lot of people will gripe because, you know, you can't really mount an optic here. And, and yes, that's true. They do make a side mounted optic, which I don't know. I think that would just look kind of funky. And personally, I think an optic on one of these would really just kind of kill the the nostalgia part of it i mean these rifles are you know as much americana as just about anything you can think of but they do make kind of an offset uh mount i can't think of the name of the guy that that does it but it does not get in the way you don't have to do anything crazy special to it um i want to say it runs for about 50 bucks so not not too terrible if you just have to put an optic on this but like I said, I mean, you know, right out of the box, the sights on this are, are pretty awesome. I mean, you're not going to get accuracy out to, you know, four or 500 yards. That's just not what these, what these guys are designed for. Um, you're looking at, I don't know, I'd say high end, maybe 250, 200, somewhere in that, in that range, depending upon, you know, probably the, the, the grain of the bullet, the, the other conditions. But I would feel comfortable and say if I was a deer hunter, you know, taking down a deer at 150 yards, I think this would, would do that uh, with, without a problem. Um, uh, trying to think what else. The, as far as disassembling it, I know that the buttstock comes off really easily. There's just that one screw and you can actually change it out and you can change out even this, this foregrip here. Um, so, you know, you can make some modifications to the weapon but again when you're going to get into the actual inter internals there's there's quite a bit of screws and like i said I, I would recommend um that you have a really good system in place maybe some bowls or labels or you know whatever just so that you don't lose some of these because you're probably talking total i don't know there's at least a dozen screws pins nuts bolts whatever you want to call it so um that's all i have to say about that really enjoy the rifle like shooting it, very accurate. I've done zero modifications to it. And it is just, it's, it's, it's just cool as hell. Not to mention, I mean, when you, I mean, that's, that's just, that's just sexy as hell to me. I just think that sound is so cool. Not to mention, if you're somebody that, you know, would be on the other end of that, say someone's breaking in your home or you gotta get, you know, you're in a self-defense situation or something. I mean, if I heard, if I heard this, minus hitting the table, I think I'd, you know, think about changing my plans. Um, I don't know about you guys, um, but let me know. I'm curious uh, if that would make you shit your pants or not. Um, any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Tri Texas Triple Tapper, out.